Well, rain may hamper your weekend plans. So here's Michael Fish to tell you the best time to go out or stay in. Tonight, most of tonight looks fine. Okay. It, it looks all right. We have two fronts, Shannon, that have been rolling their way through. Here's the first, and it's brought most of the rain with it. You might see an isolated shower pop up as we head through the evening, but later on tonight, the secondary front gets here with some scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm. Now that rolls in here later on tonight. Not going to be a heavy rainmaker, but either way, that's on its way. That means changes for tomorrow. But as far as outside right now, this isn't that bad. A couple clouds popping up, and again, that's where you could see it. Just an isolated shower pop up. 73 degrees currently in Port Washington. So as we head through our night here by 7 o'clock, most of us dry into 10. But then later on tonight, those scattered showers rolling on through, and those could hang on into tomorrow morning. So tonight's low, 56. It's going to be a mild night. Now let's talk more about those temperatures because we're going back on the downslide for tomorrow. 70, that's what our average high should be above average today. But remember, I was talking about two cool fronts. First one through, second one on its way, and behind it, there's International Falls, only 60 degrees. So we're going to be cooler. But remember, that front's not here yet. First one's through, it cooled us down just a little bit. 72, Waukesha, West Bend, you're sitting at 73. Racine in Milwaukee, 74. Not bad for this time of year. Dew point again, first front through, so our dew points fall in just a little bit. But the secondary front for later on tonight behind that, dew points fall into the 40s. You'll notice the difference for tomorrow, but there's a problem. We have that secondary front, and it's actually a low pressure that's going to come rolling on through, and that could give us just a couple of showers as we head through the morning hours. But the afternoon starts to look better. I think what you're going to really notice, though, Brisk conditions and it's going to be cooler than it was today. So we're going to have a wind slowly. That low pressure pulls on out of here, but best chance of rain in the morning. And then as far as tonight, it's late tonight. That's the actual frontal passage. But in the morning hours on the backside, a couple scattered showers into the morning and then things improve as the afternoon goes on and get ready. We've got a really nice stretch of weather on the way, but we have to get through tomorrow first. So tonight more scattered showers developing late, maybe a thunderstorm 56. For tomorrow, 64, any morning showers end, and then the afternoon starts to slowly improve. For tomorrow night, mostly clear, dropping into the 40s, 40 inland, 45, and by the lake. And Monday, nice day. And here's the thing, that's just the start. We're going to keep that going for a lot of this upcoming week. As far as uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, looking dry. And actually, Shannon, we're going to be warming things up to 70 by Wednesday. So... Things getting better. Tomorrow's going to start off a little bit on the gloomy side, but uh -huh. it gets better as the week goes on. Maybe car wash tomorrow afternoon. Car wash, but kind of flip flop from fall to summer to fall. I know it just keeps bouncing. That's September in Wisconsin. All right. Thanks, Fish. Yep.